Hey folks, welcome back to a rather rainy, cold, miserable autumn day in Manor Lords. Yeah, look at that. All the reflections of the, the puddles. Ah, this fire, this looks comforting right now in weather like this. Want to just kind of crouch down next to that and throw another log on, huh? Anyway, today let's think seriously about getting the church upgraded um i don't remember what all is in the building queue but i don't think the church actually shuts down or anything while we're waiting we've got the materials to do it i think the fences drop i don't know if new fences are there stone fences on the second level church i know there's a stone church I wonder why the fences drop it must be that they're going to rebuild in stone fencing let's go ahead and do that and just get it into the queue so, interesting. Okay, now I guess we still can't walk in. He can't step up over something, so that's... We can we can go in this way. Oh, we're having trouble there. Nope, nope, doesn't like that. <laughs> anyway, we were talking about getting into the mining industry, iron mining industry today, because we're still waiting for 250 to go start the other town. Would like to get that other town going so we can get its basics going and start trading back and forth between towns and kind of helping each other out from early on. Sheep is something else that needs to get done. We've got uh, got this guy built last time as our our little uh, sheep farm over here. It by itself can handle five. We got 45 available you know, capacity in this field, and I kind of like the non-square field. That feels right. We can't do anything though till we get the livestock trader up and going, so that's another priority for the day. What is first though? Hmm. Let's kick this one up. Let's get this one going so that although we need funds. We do need funds. Okay, let's take that back down to medium. We need funds. So what else is there to trade away? without getting into the trading perks that I'm waiting for the update to uh, to get a hold of because I think they're going to change and I don't want to lock old policies into this game save. Um, stone tools, roof tiles. I'm told tools do nothing and just you can trade them away. It seems like we started with 15 though. I remember 15 at the beginning. So have we used them or have they been stolen? Food we're actually pretty low on food. Wow, we gotta really start thinking about that. Uh, fuel, firewood. I hate trading away firewood. I hate trading away any of the basics. You know, don't trade your hides or your leather. Turn them into shoes. But in order to... Oh, stuff's going on here. Bandit camp sighted. Another ruler. Pause. Um, in order to trade away the products that I'm making, the crafting materials... What do we want here? Where would shoes be? Where's commodities? There we go. So, shoes, 39. We have to buy the route. That's going to cost 48. It costs a lot less once we take those perks. So I'm kind of holding them and waiting for that. It can't be much longer on the update. They've been testing it for quite a while, and and half what Brit's already using it, and it's it's gone well for him. I'm, I'm still waiting for the, the little message. Well, you were right. Everything broke, but you know, so far it's going really well for them. But <laughs> um, it, it can't be much longer, so we're just going to patiently wait. But we've got shoes to sell off. We'll have over here. We'll have war bows to sell off. We'll have shields, both sizes, to sell off once it gets going. But I wonder if we should just bite the bullet on one of these. Like, now we stopped making small shields because he just ate us out of all of our planks. Um, shoes was 48. Is that what I saw? Uh, shoes, 48 to get that one going. That looks really lucrative, though. Going to get 8 per until we overload the system, then it'll drop down. Um, these are 30 per. And we could maybe just get the small shields going again and not do the others. Maybe we can keep up with just that production. Let's do that. Let's get this route going. Establish a route. Give us an export. We already have the horse. Livestock. It's not showing, though. Let's get into advanced and add it in. 
and livestock now we're here okay now how many can we have i was thinking four but apparently you can only have two do we have two in the system now horses we have two in the system now may as well add them both in so livestock we have got fritz and peter and capable of running two families now with both of them though i wonder if one family could well one will be running a stall Hmm, yeah, one will be running a stall, um, the other two, one will be loading in, and one will be going out. So maybe it's two families to take advantage of two horses, but that happens once we take the perks. Okay, but that's, yeah, that's up and running now. I'm seeing angry signs over there. We're over there. Where did these guys drop in? And are they going to go to the exact same spot? The exact same spot. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay. So, is there much that we can even do? Is there another way to deal with this? They're going straight in. They're going to try and take it. We could run over there and be exhausted again. Can we do that in a different way? No matter which way we do it, we lose the camp and I want the money. Me? Well... Maybe this time we let them take them and we go for the camp. Ooh, okay. I, I'll play that game. So you guys, head in how? Head in at a walk? Let's start heading in at a walk. So just go there and you're already set to walk. These guys are going to trigger and go this way to fight them. Probably right about here in the trees. Which means we want to we actually want to run for a while i don't see walking getting us there i think they would have the battle and walk right in yeah we're at a full run just to get to here in time as long as we don't trigger them first okay so this time we'll take the money and hopefully next time we'll roll the dice better and it'll land over near the middle all right so you are being rebuilt you are taking your time we don't have funds for you anyway you are people, and that's that's something if you play this game, be aware of that people. Anytime you have a question, why isn't this working, or what's taking them so long, or what are they all up to, I don't see anything happening, click on people. Then you can find out what they're doing. We are transporting, pedaling, and guiding an ox. Don't know why we're guiding an ox, but you are pedaling. So you're going to hit over here and run the... the where are you going? Ah, you went around the corner. You're going to run the food stand. No, nope, you went around two different corners. <laughs> you were running a clothing stand. Why are you running a clothing stand as part of the trading post? I don't know. Transporting. Let's pop into here. You are... I don't know. So what are we selling? We are selling bows or shields. So you are... You must be on your way to picking up small shields. So go back into people and click on dits. No, click on Friedlin. And you are transporting. Ah, your home is here. You're transporting eggs. Okay. So you can kind of puzzle your way through to figure out what they're doing. Whether or not that helps you to get this functioning better or not. Yeah, you know, that's that's another issue, but it is kind of fun to peek in and see what they're what each of them are doing in their lives. Here's our our horse waiting outside of the stall. Okay, I've never seen them out there. I've always seen two of them backed into the garage here. I've never seen them outside of the stall. Interesting. All right. So you're being built. You are thinking about trades. Do we actually have anything? Is it advanced trade? I want to see what's in stock here generic zero and zero so nothing is hasn't brought over yet okay we are at 45 we're going to be selling these shields uh did we set a number we did we did not so eight small shields we can say zero ah that's why he wasn't immediately going in there and getting that okay so he's got to bring over eight small shields to export and no money sign just floated up so that didn't 
turn into a sale. Eventually, we will be bringing in flax, barley, and wheat as soon as we can clip off that extra 10 there and just get it down to 2. And then we'll just be rolling those guys in. But we also need to get sheep coming in, too. So it's time to start actually earning an income over here. Now, you guys are doing your battley thing. Let's go peek at that again, and then we'll head over. You are... Whoa. Pause, 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 pause. You guys drop back to a walk. And let's think about your route. We know if we get to here, we're going to trigger them. We need them to get to there first before we get to here. And if we're walking, we're going at the same speed now. So that to there and that to there. They're going to trigger first, but it's going to be close. Hmm. Once they trigger... Well, that's not even true either. Once they trigger, I can set back to run and just have them run in. But I have seen them start off after someone and then change their mind and, and, and divert. You know, pivot! To, uh, to whoever they determined that came into their range that was the weakest and went after that instead. So it's quite possible they could get started and then turn and come back at us while I'm over there talking about uh, uh, redoing all of our industry buildings. Hmm. So, okay, we're going to have to come back here real quick. But one of the goals today is to think about getting this up and running. And... I don't really want them walking all the way down here. We'll have these guys walk down here and then haul it back. That's kind of what, you know, the, their, their fate right now is doing just that. Eventually we'll have housing a little bit lower. But there's no point in having everybody walk down that low. And this area here, which I thought was kind of cool, I didn't realize how steep this was. Though it is still functional... I mean, it is, and there's a nice little road going into it. I think that road goes away. Um, I think this would be a better area for some industrial buildings. So while we're waiting for that war to start, let's have you guys refocus on this area right over here and clear out our, our new industrial zone, which would be kind of right in there. All right, so you guys are going to start chopping on those. And i got to get back over there, but... You guys, I'm pretty sure I had you focused right here, right here in this little area. In fact, you might be done. Let's give you another focus, then we'll go back. So you, and we'll keep this narrow. I want to have, have this, can I go any tighter? Yeah, let's just clear out the entrance right there. Okay, so pulling out, we are lost. We are, okay, I am lost. Where, there I am. Okay, are you guys up and running now? You are up and gone. There you are. Okay, guys, run in. Right into there. Head into there, grab the gold. We're going to do to them what they did to us last time. And you know, we get a kind of a, a free, uh, free look over here. So let's control C this one. Watch these poor bandits get annihilated. Oh, that's an overkill of troops being sent in there to handle 16 uh, ruffians. This guy's kind of creeping in from behind there. Yep. They're coming around, and I'm trying to move my mouse. It's not doing anything, so I can't point. There's their banners. So, that's an interesting banner. Three arrows and a and a World War One helmet over the top? <laughs> no. That is, I've never seen that banner before. That, that image. Yeah, it's just carnage. Now they're going to run away and get out of there. And what happens next? They're all heading off the map. Hmm. So they're heading that way. They're not even, not even trying now. Okay. So, you guys, a good thing, because where the heck are we? What, what happened? Dudes, what are you doing? Didn't I click here? I must have clicked somewhere else, too. Oh, boy. That could have been disaster. All right, you guys get back over there. I don't know what you were thinking. It's not what I was thinking. All right, heading back into here. There is the clay pit. How much is left? 186. 
Probably this next year we'll get that mined out and finished, so that, and then we'll destroy that and it'll be gone. We'll also get the stone cleaned up and out of here. So we do have the larger storage house now. Yeah, so we can handle an awful lot more stone and clay and just have it sitting here waiting to, to do something with it. So let's, well, now let's let's hold off until they take all the trees down. And I, we're real, real close to Em and Ruth. Hey, they're being claimed to getting our 250. Let's pop over to Em and Ruth. That is over here. You're taking that one. So I noticed when they won the battle here, they then took this. So when they win the battle here, they took this. That's only 320 influence. So the idea that they need to win enough battles to have enough influence to grab another province is not real. So he's he's got his own influence from outside of the map. It's just you know the, the politeness of winning a a skirmish before taking it, but it would take three and a half to get a thousand points to be able to take this. So it's not quite following the same rules that we are following. That's why I wanted to slow them down. But he's going to take this. We're going to win every, hopefully every skirmish in here for from now on. We're just going to park in the middle. In fact, yeah, we're just going to do that. Park right here. We should be able to get to there before that can get to there, hopefully. So we'll park low. Yeah, we'll park. Actually, we'll park right here. Because they're going to come out of here from now on. Every bandit camp they're going to come out of right about here so we will park right here and be a step ahead of them and we'll take all the rest of the bandit camps he won't take this for quite some time and we'll have time to delay him and enjoy building over here all right that sounds like a plan you guys run in don't really you're you're not even moving okay guys i don't know oh we're paused we're paused it paused when it goes into that mode yeah. All right, you guys are going to run into there. You're exhausted. You're not going to run into there. You're just going to kind of slog your way into there. <laughs> and, yeah, let's let's stay here. I don't think we've actually seen this on camera yet. The one time that I wanted to see it, um, I jumped into little dude mode. And uh, uh, I popped in way the heck over there. Didn't get to see it come down, but... Here is the bandit camp, and they've got a nice little setup there. You kind of wonder what's in the barrels, and what do they need the big old, um, almost like nautical rope? That's like something your anchor would be attached to. All right, you're here. We are going to take this to our own treasury, and you guys can, I guess, head to your, your final uh, uh, posting. It's over in here. Oh, that is a nice look. Look at that stone face. Let's get you coming over here. Um, which way did you pick? Forward. It does give you kind of a line. Interesting. Pop over here. That'd be it. Yeah, that's a better one. But, boy, I can imagine having the, uh, the manor up in here. I think Solid Contents series has got this province. So I remember him looking at this, this area right here. He rode it up into here, and he's building his manor up in this area. But that is quite the map feature. And what am I bouncing up and down on? Maybe trees or something. Yeah, woohoo! What is below me? I don't know. Maybe there's a little ridge right here or something. Anyway, so we're going to camp over there from now on. And that should make for... You guys are not happy. Make for a lot easier bandit camp taking... You guys are claiming, and what are you complaining about? Zoom in. Which one specifically? So if I click right there. Fuel. Hmm, fuel. If we get the next point, I'm saving two for trading. Next point is one more level two and, and three level threes. Okay, well we can set one more level two in. We get the next point, and we'll dive into charcoal over here. And that will take care of fuel problems for, for quite some time. Every one firewood turns into two charcoal, so you essentially double your fuel capacity, or fuel quantities. Uh, question mark, work area is empty. Yep, that's the forager's hut. Do we get any sense that we are making any more herbs, or are herbs 
Do herbs go away as soon as the berries go away? I don't know. We decided to leave you in so you can run a food stall. And is that still a wise thing? Or do we... There's no point in sending you into here to run a food stall because there's no other food to collect. We don't even need two families right now. Hmm. All right, we do have flour. Do we have... We do have a communal oven. Do we have bread? Uh, don't have it there. So, bread, bread, bread. Don't have it in the system either. Okay. Food, I think, is going to bite us in the butt here real soon. It's the, uh, I guess the backyards that are supplying us at the moment. Which is why I really wanted this one, but, you know, theoretically, they're not going to be, uh, harvesting for a couple of months now. Yeah. So what food we had, we had. Alright, can we get into here? We almost can. Let's give them just a little more time to do their thing. Otherwise, we've got the funds now. So let's pop over here and start exploring this. Now when we... Oh, that's right. As soon as we do, we're going to lose all of our bread. Yeah, that's the reason why that I decided to not get this going in the winter. Alright, so let's work with industry. We can do that. We're over here. And that might be a choppable tree. This area definitely is not. Any sense of... Let's see, how best to do this? Let's grab you guys, because I think that's going to mess things up. This shows us trees that are down. It doesn't. It shows us logs that are down, but not trees. Any lit up white logs? No. Where were the loggers working before? I don't get any hint of them. They must have cleared out their little area wherever that was. I... It seems like I set them. That sure looks like a log, but that's actually a woodcutter's log. Meaning, they take off little sections at a time and just chip away at it. It's not a log section that the ox will drag out that the that the uh, the loggers would have taken out. It's what the firewood cutters would have taken out. Okay, so let's instead right-click out of that. Hopefully, I don't know if that messed it up or not. So let's, I guess just manually set you um you were over here and i set you really tight let's back out just a touch and give you right there just to make sure i didn't mess you guys up okay so trees coming out. i wanted to see if there was a log laying in here but apparently there's not so let's talk about industry and the bloomery so the and unsnap where's my mouse there you are the iron ore is going to haul up here to a storehouse. Did we set? We did. So you need to get in. That needs, that's probably the next project to get done. The storehouse. And then these guys are going to grab from the storehouse. So zooming in here. I don't know what little details will show up on the ground. But contour wise that building would be set this way. So that's the orientation that I want for this. And I think I want it fairly close. You are the tavern though. There we can get some trees that are down. Okay, that helps out. Let's set you actually a little bit deeper. We're not taking out any trees till we get to there. I kind of like you right there. I'm gonna hide you a little bit. All right, you're going into there and now I can click on this guy. Where'd you go? Right there. Let's kick you up. You're highest now. This one defaults to highest. All right, we'll make you higher, or next highest, or whatever the, there. Take you down one, very high. Let the church get done. And it's more than halfway done already. So, stone church going in. Though that looks an awful lot like, like concrete. <laughs> Interesting, I was expecting individual stones like the foundation. But it's more of a clay wall very thick clay walls or maybe it is a stone wall with a clay like a plaster over it that makes more sense just pretend that you didn't see the uh, the inside but boy we are coming together quickly now let's pull out a little bit and let's get rid of you interesting this is the entrance what is this structure over here i don't know but it's interesting the way they've attached here. Wow. It's 
small windows, anything internal. Oh, this is the belfry. Yep. So in here is just a small little room. Uh, let's see if I can get down lower. And I'm trying to figure out why that little wall in there. Pop in. No, not does not like us in there, huh? All right, I was looking at the door here. Oh, it went away. It must be finished. And that little wall that was in there vanished. Yeah. So, are we actually done? We're not. Why did they all choose to leave at the same point? Interesting. Click on you. We're waiting for one roof tile to arrive. <laughs> That's interesting. You are hauling... What? Transporting flour. Okay. So, granary? There you are, granary worker. Stop moving. Yep. There's the roof tile. Heading in. No, that's a bag of flour, too. Uh-huh. We have a communal oven up and running now? I think we do. At least you were here. Are you leaving? No, you went inside. There you are. Went inside, grab some more flour. Pop over here and... Never mind. I think you've got some bread? Does it tell me? You are transporting bread. I wonder where you're taking it to. I guess a food stall, right? So you are a baker. But you're transporting... I wonder if you guys have your own stall. You do. Okay. So they've taken over and set up a food stall over here. And we're rebuilding something over here. Oh, the cooling stall is abandoned. Okay. And they're having all their little conversations. And I can barely hear them. But I think it comes out a little better in the video. Got our lone outhouse out here. You guys are all wandering in to grab more grain. Grain is almost gone already. Dragging a log through. I could spend the entire episode just watching all the activities of the town. This game is fascinating in that way. We are starting to work on this guy. He's medium, though. But we just got all the logs delivered. So when they get back to it, it'll go quickly. But we want to get this guy going next. Everything's here, so it's just a matter of... Four families for the building crews to get in here. Is there anything else we need those families doing? These are all mediums. They'll be next. Um, and just to make sure, you need to be a a high to make sure you're in he ahead of all those houses. All right. So did we get the shields drug over here? That's in general. There's no storage. Um, trade quantities for small shields. We have eight still in town. Okay. Five apiece. Um, eight still in town. Trying to reason my way through this. People trading, peddling, and guiding an ox. When are you guys going to actually fill this up? Yeah, I've got to wrap my head around the... Uh, so you were trading. Let's go see what that means. That means you're off map. Interesting. You are not here right now. So you've left the map with the horse? Uh, yep, with Peter. But we still have eight. Interesting. Trade. We still showing that we have eight uh, shields. So what have you taken with you? We're no longer trading. We are exporting berries, but we don't have an excess of 60. This is what they would stop trading at this point. So we've eaten all the berries, and we're probably about to see our food at four months start dropping until we get to spring and new berries come in. How are the meat supplies for the town? 18 of 40. So a rich deposit, but still one family is able to, to keep this uh, taken down. So I'm a little concerned about that. Church is in. And what did that do for us? Let's grab one of these guys. So, second level church is in. Now we just need the tavern to be supplied. And that's really waiting for trading. Okay, that's not going to happen for a while. Though we do need to set more fields for the next planting season. But we are getting this guy in. We want to drop this guy in as well. Clay Furnace. You're going to be down in here somewhere. We have... Oh, well, there was a little red dot there a moment ago, but he's gone. So if we turn you like so, or we turn you this way, that could work. Let's do that. And I think right in there, we're not... Trees uprooted one. Pull you back. Which one is it? Is it this guy? Yeah, there you are. So drop you into there. 
There's enough room between for a road. You're going there. And then the smithy for making tools versus the armorer over in the artisan area for making oh, armor and small sidearms, that kind of thing. But we'll get you set up. We're going to build everything so we can see it. But you're kind of in this area... Like so? Maybe. Yeah, you can be the uh, the one that's actually showing and next to the tavern. You're going to make smoke. You're not. Oh, there's a lot going on. Pause. whole bunch of noises in the background. I think you're the one that's going to be more of the uh, um, the representation of the industrial area right here on the, on the road. So we'll pop you in like so. And let's grab a road before this gets a little too tight. Want to snag? I was seeing another point. Now it's not there. It must be. It's going to pop in right here. So you. Oh, you are tight. You will make it. We'll go there and come down like so. Okay. And you. Yeah, there, there would be wagon traffic and foot traffic in there to form a, a pathway. So we'll do that. Okay, so you guys are there, and what was all that noise? Now that I can pop into this. Finish the Livestock Trader, small stone church, and the storehouse. All right, so storehouse, we're going to set up for, let's see, advanced? Yeah. Can I say get rid of everything? Uh, reject all goods in this category. Okay, let's do that and that. And you are going to take in... Hmm, I think finished goods go off into the town. So none of you. I want to bring in clay. I want to bring in iron ore. What do you look like? That's charcoal. Probably want to bring in charcoal. Because you're going to be used down in this... Well, this is down the hill quite a ways from the bloomery over there. I'd say no on you. Um, whoa, where's iron ore? You think it'd be right here. Crafting materials and commodities. Okay, let's do this. There's iron ore. Okay. So you two are the primary goal in this area. Iron slabs. Hmm. I'm thinking, well, it's actually it's about the same distance to this guy as this guy. But he's not upgraded yet, so he's a smaller capacity. And this guy is where the armor over here is going to be using it. So we'll, we'll send them to this one. This is where we're going to have the most families to haul it all to. Okay. And they'll be hauling it from these buildings back into there. They won't be hauling it from down here. Okay, I think that works. This guy will be hauling from there and from there. So we need to get a family in there and get that going. Uh, stock you. That last noise was a burgage plot. And a burgage plot. Yeah, they're going to start spamming us here real soon. So we've got those two. Let me think here. That kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, the livestock trader. That was the other thing that popped in. So you, we eventually want... Now, we can breed. So we, we did take the perk for breeding. Otherwise, you would just buy 10 and you would forever have 10 and gain the wool from those 10. Um, another family. Let's get you started. It's December. So we can do without so many families right now. We'll need them all back when we start uh, working on fields again. But for now, one family coming in. And we want to bring in... I wonder how long. Any pop-up? Any help? No help. Okay. How long does it take for lambs to become sheep? It's going to cost 20 and 30. until Unless we took that other perk. Actually, it will. Is that something we should hold off on as well? I was thinking we would bring in um, lambs or sheep early and start building up a, uh, a supply of wool, but let's wait. Right now, coins are, are rare for us. So let's hold off that extra 10. Two purchases, and you you've uh, you could have bought another animal. So that's 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 a stiff tariff. For, for the condition that we're in, the, the state of our town. All right, so you guys are doing all this, and we're in January. So anything important, register, or the treasury changed by five. The, did we, we turn off the, we turned off the, uh, the tithe, didn't we? 
think we did. So I don't see that. Taxes. No, we didn't. Let's do so. Let's turn this off for the moment. And let's take you down to five. We'll do that. Not getting a whole lot right now, but... Yeah. I think I would love to see more families coming in at a quicker rate. That negative nine taxation, that has been harming us. So let's cut the taxes in half for a while and, and recoup some of that. Boy, lots of things going on. Family moving in. The only family we're going to get for, for this month, unfortunately. They're moving into where? Let's see what's happening. Nobody's over here. Um, red zeros. Where were the last ones that we built? This group? I think these were the last ones. Yeah. So we filled this area. And those are all zeros. So that's the next area to, build, to start moving into. And the next area to build, I think, is over in here. But one thing I want to try, and we're kind of discussing this in the comments last episode, the idea of building houses for something specific, like farmers for sowing and harvesting. And then be you know have them here and have them specifically assigned. And then when the season's over, specifically assign them to something else. What that is, I don't know. For a little while, Stonecutter's Camp would work. But we need to think about other jobs that could be done out in this area. Um, actually, it's kind of a barren area. I don't know what to do with that. We're at the edge. So it's not like I can set up a, a wood cutting um, industry out here. I guess I could. That's not too far to walk from here to here. But these guys could do that too. The farm is over here. Well, I'll just let that one kind of stew for a while and see what I come up with. Because for right now, there's actually going to be a lot of jobs down in here. More so than eight houses can handle. And I'd like to not be building so much in suburbs and housing tracks. I'd like to make this look a little more interesting. So you're going away. You could go away right now. You could. I assume these goods would just drop onto the ground. I guess it'd be a great time to test that. I do that and demolish. You are... Yeah, right there. So you are one clay, five firewood, the stones and logs that it took to build it. It's kind of nice that it gives it all back. Kind of feels cheaty too, but that's the way they're doing it. So you are going to remain. Um, bloomery's done. Where do we want more houses? I didn't want the industry in these slopes. But it might look kind of interesting living on these slopes. I'm sure they would have hated it. <laughs> kind of walk uphill to get to the outhouse. But yeah, I'll have to think that one as well. More, more things are happening here. Let's take a look at this bloomery. So iron ore is going to come in, get heated up in these kilns. Which, hmm, which I'm sure they have to rebuild once in a while. They're just, just clay kilns. Yeah, primitive technology. We we talked about this kind of a thing in our Ostrov series, and linked a few of his videos to see how kilns work on a more primitive level. But let's get a family. Yeah, boy, there's more noises coming on. Let's get a family in here. Get this one going. Um, I'll ignore the fuel reserves for the moment. Three months of food left. Noises. Get out of this. And what was I seeing? Some more plots going in. So a lot of houses are going in. We, that's why I'm chipping away at my, my families there, because there's not a whole lot more for them to build. That may have been the last thing, uh, except for these industry buildings right in here. So we're working on these right now. We're going to start hauling iron ore to here. We're going to start hauling clay to here. Where's the clay being stored right now? That's all up in here. Yeah, we could turn it off here and I guess give them something to do. So turn you off, turn you off. Anything else? No, do we want them to... No, because there's no fuel being consumed down at this level. It's just gathering. So they can get their fuels from over there for these buildings. Okay. You use fuel? You don't indicate that you do. Only have a pantry, not storage. General storage. So, I guess there isn't a campfire constantly running in this one. Are we up and running? We're not. We don't have any 
barley yet. Yeah. Have we sold 46? We have not. Have we brought over any shields? And if not, what does that really mean for us? So general, we still haven't. Let's stick a second family in there and see if that is going to help. These families seem to be mostly concerned about trading and about uh, running booths and you know market stalls. So we are mounting a horse. Stock goods for sale. The second family finally got to it. We're dropping resources. What did you buy? Dropping resources. Different from stocking goods for sale. It's like you went out and got something. You, you're the one that was out trading? No, Friedland was. Dropping resources. Now I can't click on you and see what you're doing. Can I? You are dropping resources. Yeah, I am not certain what that means. Click on you. Nothing new just got brought over. Huh. We haven't bought anything for a long time. And you now are fetching water. Okay. That's probably for home. But back to people. Now we can see mounting a horse. So you are on your way to do the next trade. But you got nothing to trade. No one's brought the stuff over. Let's see if that is happening. We did have two that were stocking goods for sale. So Beatrix is. She is. Uh, okay. Turn different angle. There you are, stocking goods for sale. Maybe you're carrying shields. You're kind of coming from the joiner shop, kind of. I need to turn you back on. Planks. 42 planks, we caught up again. So we're just going to have the joiner shop going, making small shields. Fletcher shop can continue to take a break. And the cobbler shop, you have been using up our leather. Leather, leather, leather. Five leather left and one hide. Yeah, that's tough. So we're going to be shutting you down here soon, too, because we just can't keep up with even a single artisan in that regard. So then where are we at exactly? We're not bringing in sheep until we pull the perk out of here that uh, allows us to get rid of the tariff, assuming that that maintains through the update. Um, we've got iron ore coming in and being smeltered. We're not doing anything with it right now because I don't want to lose another family at this point. So we're just going to collect some iron slabs for a while. I want families in here for this. We could set this up. Let's do that. You are officially gone. So demolish you. I should have done that sooner because we got to get this log hauled out of here. One log. Mm. Um, I, that reminds me. There was a suggestion that came in a couple episodes ago, and I talked about it and then poo-pooed it, and now I'm thinking about going back. Um, we hit the, the thought was to assign an ox to a stable directly, and that went away because they did manage to get in here and clean up all these logs, or all the logs went away as soon as I you know, shut down the game and restarted. Either way, there wasn't enough work to lock in an ox and just do that but then i assigned an ox to the livestock or to the uh, saw pit and that's fine except now we have two saw pits what if one family assigned to the ox constantly restocks and restocks and restocks whereas here one family member will go and grab a log drop it off and then leave and then another family member will come over and craft and then leave and then another one will go find an ox whereas this guy could just be bringing log after log after log so i think that might be a wiser use advanced minus of an ox by locking it into a stable um yeah you've got a horse no livestock there we go, an ox, yeah. And we did want another ox. Though at the moment, we're going to be... Unassigned families needed to con for construction. I just assigned a family, yeah. So, hmm. We're kind of done building for a little while. We just got a lot of stuff done. And we're going to start concentrating out over there. Okay. So, iron slabs are being produced. We're waiting on the sheep. Church is in, waiting for families to start stocking these houses so we can reassign them. I think we're kind of done over here for a little bit. I think. 
So in that case, well, besides checking you guys out, making sure this is what we really want with you guys, you are set not to run, set to stand your ground, though that'll change when I open up again. And these guys pull out, there we are. Somewhere in here is where this army is going to always spawn. So if we were to stay on the road and kind of camp out here, we hopefully could respond to... We would probably be kind of hiding back in here. I kind of like that. Let's set you guys in here. Something like that. You guys park in there and whatever other bandit camps come in next episode, we should be able to hit them and do it every single time now, keeping this last province open, delaying him, though he won't attack us until we attack him. But still, it's a nice source of revenue and a nice source of influence by taking out bandit camps. And once he takes this last province, then it's done. We're stuck gaining influence only by tithing. I'm pretty sure that we can't jump into and take this province, start attacking him without 2,000 more points. So we are still going to have to continue to accumulate, which is 500 right now. So we do need to still take these bandit camps out. So I think that's the, the long-term plan right now. We're just going to farm bandit camps ahead of him unless he takes off from here. It's possible that he, would he do it from this point or would he do it from this point? I don't know. I've seen him come out of here many times. I've seen him come out of here many times. Even though, so the trade point isn't an indicator. I've seen him come out of the center. No trade point down here. So I think that's a plan for there. But otherwise, I guess the only next logical thing to do is to start here. At the moment, it's not snowing. Let's pause and, and think a little bit. And the very first project could be the granary. And they, they can put that in really quick if we don't start with the logging camp. So go straight to the granary, get it done. I kind of like that. So let's just think about this this little province over here. Where am I at? Somewhere in that 50-ish minute range. Okay, so we got 10, 15 minutes to, to think about this and maybe get it started. And next time we'll dive back in and maybe next episode we'll focus over here. Where does this road actually meander through? This is a temporary thing. We'll mine it out and get it done. Same with that. We'll mine this out and get it done. We'll send everything back to Gandalf. And <clears throat> what else is in here? We'll concentrate in here. Get food going. And these guys can trade back, as well as trading back um, iron and stone in exchange for goods that they need from us over here. So that works out well. Was there any other berries it's over here so we got a bunch of clay so we could be shipping clay permanently in in exchange for maybe charcoal coming back and then we will make roofing tiles and sell them out out, out the trader over there although this would be a good industry for these guys to get some income rolling in too through their, through their own trader there is that where's the king's road over here so we need trading probably down in this area so let's look at, let's see, sea and fertility, barley. All right, so this is a bad area for, for fertility. Flax, still kind of a bad area. Emmer will go most anywhere. Rye goes everywhere. So it's really barley and flax that are the picky ones. So you actually are right there and right here. Do I want to walk far? To farming or do we save this I think we save this for barley field or for flax field barley is actually deeper in there why did I think last time we looked at this that this was the best place for the uh, for the village that didn't change on us did it so back to flax I think I was looking at here for farming set up the town right in here so I do want to take advantage of as much of this as possible. That is barley. That's a lot of room for barley. That really is. A farm complex here, a farm complex here. So we could grab into there. Flax is lim more limited. So let's take this area right here for a little town. Start there. For logging, for food. Right in there for a settler's camp. 
uh, initial housing and log out the area to push housing into the forest into this area berries are uh, out of this mode escape berries are hiding I guess it's this group right in here okay all right so settlers camp let's see this actually happen you're there it's a trade is it administration there you are settlers camp this comes out of this treasury you guys and yeah let's get back into flax let's draw a line in there so you are something like that and back into flax all right something like that road comes into there branches around we farm probably down in this area barley is actually over here so we could farm building farm house right there grab fields there wheat can be anywhere it's it's pretty uh, pretty flexible okay so the towns in there that is our our area so we're going to grab you going like this and kind of a tight little turn right there all right that works good and settlers camp then does what it goes where the farming will be because it's going to go away. That leaves us all of our space over here. All right. Now, these, as far as I know, are not part of the of the game yet. A farming village, a forest village, and a mining village. So it must have a different set of starting supplies oriented toward these other buildings. But just a starter town. If we wanted to spend 500 we can get twice the amount. There's our double the starter kit. But uh, we're going to go here, town, and confirm. You're in here, got our own ox, we have 50 to start with, and last time the first thing I did was got another ox, and that's there's value to doing that. Um, and we could just pop you into here as well, so let's do just that. Ox is, is there and there, and spin you, and right there, that looks good. Ox is in there, the first thing is going to be gathering granary. So granary goes where? The goods are sitting right in there. Okay. So somewhere nearby, farming is going to be down in here. The farm's going to be over here. So let's head off into this area for it. But I want to see the, the barley one more time. That's all barley. So actually it's kind of right in here. Hmm. I bet you there's a spot in there I can grab that without, the, uh, without a tree going a tree in the way flax continues around let's run the road right there into the mining area that's good so you're there and I want the granary somewhere in this area without taking out a tree can we do just that um, we can go right there that actually looks good yep that works all right so you are there and connect a road to you just kind of little little stub right there and you are the highest priority to so get you going you are the next highest priority and that's just a temporary place because we're going to farm that eventually but for now it's out of our way all right so that takes care of one two three logs and a bunch of stone we have eight logs to start with we have eight logs to start with and over in here we have five logs unaccounted for okay so you guys are doing this nice uh, uh, sunny winter day to get this done get a family into the granary and start hauling all that in and then I guess storage is next and then logging camp so what does that do for us we have five logs left storage is two and the logging camp is two that leaves us one log in surplus so where did the where does the logging camp go where does the storage go they don't have to be in the same place granary is over here food's coming in from here but that's not that far away the camps can be closer so that's fine um that's a person yeah up here it, it kind of looked like a chicken <laughs> 
Storage is going to be logs. It's going to be stone. It's going to be clay. It's going to be iron. No, not logs, but uh, firewood, planks, log products. It may be further out in this area, too. It just might be. So one more time. Flax. We've got the granary there. Storage can be nearby. Farm can be right over here. Uh, barley. Yeah, farm. Could even be a little further up, right? Yeah, farm could be here. The farm building. Yeah, it could be right in there. So storage could be on this road. I don't have to share that one. All right, storage is right in there. You storage gathering? No. You. What are you called? Your logistics. That's right. Storehouse. You're in this area. Spin you around. And that kind of works. Not going to take out any trees. Looks good. All right. So you are the high. You are the highest. And you are the very high. So you can help haul the rest of the logs around. All right. So after this, we need the logging camp. And then we are... We have one log left, which might be the forager. Um, that is a granary. Forager's gathering. You're over here. One log. And hunting camp has no logs. So that, was, that one's a freebie. So we could actually set that. Now let's do the logging camp. I need to know where we're going to uh, start banking more logs. I want to take this area out. It's going to be all farming. So, but to set it right here is kind of short-sighted because this is going to be gone fast. So, let's take you a little deeper into here. Let you walk some distance to begin with. Can I get you in anywhere without taking out a log? A little deeper into the forest. If I work it real carefully, there's a spot in here that's just two. I saw you. Where'd you go? Oh, come on. I saw you. There's a two. Let's go deeper into the forest like that. We'll lose two trees, but we will concentrate out over here later. But we'll focus right here for now and clear our fields. Okay, so those, we've got the logging camp going. We've got both storages going. We've got an extra ox on its way. And food. Let's get food set up. And that's all up in this area. So you are officially down in here. And look at the deer. Nice. And the berries are over there. Let's come off of this road. And do what? Now we can see our, our circle. So logging camp, or not no, logging, hunting camp, kind of in here feels right. So I think I'll place you first and we'll road to you. You are here and there? Yeah, what looks good? So we saw from the other one, they enter right here at the bottom. So that's kind of, and then they, they can exit out the top. Let's do something like that. Here and there. Contour-wise, it looks good. Not taking any trees down. I like that. So you're done, or you're in place, and we've got a forager's hut, which has got to be closer up into here. Contour lines are that way, so pivot you like this. The herbs will be in this side, and we can put you right there. Let's go a little deeper. I think that looks good. And then road-wise, we'll pull you back. So there's room right here for the road. Grab you, connect up, pull in, and point. Come around. We're heading toward here and here. Do we connect them together? I think so. A road kind of meandering through the woods. Yeah. You're going to go there. We're going to come off of, we're probably going to, as well, do something like that. And they would most likely also wander through and probably take a straight run into there. Yep, I'll go with that. So, food is in. Logs are in. Storage is in. I think that's most everything that's that's really important, except for housing. And housing, I'll take some time to think about. Where do we want it, and what what looks good? 
So I'm probably about that one hour mark, aren't I? Okay, so what have we been missing here? Uh, granary's in. Hitching post is done. Let's grab that. You are here. Order an ox. You are on your way. I miss anything else? Granary, hitching post, livestock order placed. Okay, scroll up a little further. Minus 250. So that is all that has actually happened. Over in here, anything else to be watching? The... What are you? You're the bloomery. You are the smithy. Probably not going to employ you yet. We just got our industrial area figured out. So you're there. All of our housing is in. We've got zero families at the moment. Ah, okay. And we've got to think about field placement next time. And which families to shut down and go to war on the field to get everything plowed and planted when we get into March. And probably another bandit skirmish at some point. So with that, I think this one is done. I will catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.